Hello, this is Hans van der Kroos, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I will show you how to get started with using PC Raster in QGIS. I'll show you the following steps. How to install Anaconda and set up the environment with PC Raster and QGIS. Then how to install the QGIS resource sharing plugin. How to set up the repository and download the scripts. And I'll give a little tour on the scripts that are available. And we'll end with showing how to convert your raster files to the PC raster map format. You can also find the steps in the repository on GitHub. I'll post the link also in the description of this video. First, we need to install Anaconda or Miniconda. Here I show you how to install Anaconda from the website, download Anaconda installers, and then choose the installer that is for your operating system. After installing Anaconda, you can find the Anaconda prompt in the start menu. Open the Anaconda prompt. The next step is to create the environment and install PC Raster and QGIS in the same environment so they can be used together. We use conda create and then dash dash name and then we define the name of the environment. You can give it any name, it should be one word. Call it PC Raster QGIS. And then the repository where the installers are, dash c conda dash forge. Then you can define the Python version, uh, PC Raster and QGIS run on different Python versions. Here I choose uh, 392 as an example. And then uh, PC Raster and QGIS can be defined. And you can also use the equal sign with the version number to install uh, other versions. It will now install the latest stable one of both. Then it starts uh, downloading the information and installing it in your new environment. After the installation, you need to activate the environment in order to use it. It gives the command, so we just type conda activate and then the name of the new environment, PC Raster QGIS. And now you see in brackets before the prompt the environment. So when you start it, it's base and now we change to PC Raster QGIS. You can start Python by typing Python to verify the version and see if PC Raster can be imported. It's just a test, it works. So I can leave this with Ctrl Z. And now I can start QGIS by typing QGIS and pressing Enter. Then it will start QGIS from the Conda environment. Now we can install the QGIS resource sharing plugin. Go to Manage and Install Plugins from the main menu. There, look for Resource and find the QGIS resource sharing plugin. This is a plugin that allows to share uh, symbology and scripts and other things that are useful. And uh, you can add your own repositories. After it has successfully installed, you can find this green button here in the toolbar. And if you click on it, you find here a lot of pre-installed repositories. And uh, just go through it to see if there's something useful for you. The PC Raster repository is not uh, yet in the uh, list, so we need to manually add it. Click on Add Repository, and you can give it any name. And you need to add the link, and that's the GitHub repository link, but you need to add .git, otherwise it doesn't work. Some repositories need authentication, this one doesn't. It's just open, so you click OK, and now it's added. And then under all collections, you can also find it now. And it will give the metadata. And now you can click install. And we see here that 87 scripts have been added. If there are updates, you need to reinstall this um, repository and then you will get the updates. Let's go to the processing toolbox and find these new tools. Find them under scripts, PC Raster, 
and there's the whole list of uh, scripts and just to highlight a few groups all the operators that start with uh, area are zonal operations they work on uh, classes there's a lot of hydrological tools there's some converters pc raster uses specific data types and we can import also our other raster layers to the pc raster format with the proper data type i'll show that in the end of this video the map operators they are uh, global operations and each tool has a link to the official pc raster documentation so you can uh, easily find out what it does and how it works Then there are also window operators and they work on uh, moving windows. So these are uh, focal operations where you specify a certain window length. Now all these PC raster tools work with the PC raster format. So to get started, I will show you how to convert your GeoTIFFs or other raster data to uh, the PC raster format. The PC raster format is a GDAL format, so you can uh, mix it uh, in other tools that exist in uh, QGIS. So let's use the convert to PC raster format tool. And here we can uh, convert the build G layer. It's a nominal layer, which means it has classes. And make sure you choose the map file. And then I can save it to build G dot map. Click save, and then I run it. And now it used uh, GDAL to convert it and it adds the result to the layers list. Now you can see it there, the map file, and we can do the same for the other files. So let's convert the DTM. That is a scalar data type, which means it's a continuous raster. And there is the conversion. And let's also do the others. This one is also scalar, continuous values, decimals, negative values, everything's possible. The other types are uh, Boolean, for if it's uh, true or false, directional, if it's a uh, compass direction, and LDD, if it's a local drain direction, which is a flow direction map. The roads here are classes, so that's nominal again. So now we've converted all these uh, geotiffs to the PC raster format, and we're ready to use these files in uh, analysis using these PC raster tools which I will show you in the next videos.